to Big Blippy Station. It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippy. That's right, Debo. These cookies are for Santa when he drops off our presents tonight. Good question, Debo. Hmm, I wonder, how does Santa know where we live? <laughs> hey, wait up! Very important, very important. Oh, hey, little bot. What's your name? I'm Snowbo. Hey, Snowbo. It's me, Blippi. And this is Debo. <laughs> Are you lost? Very important, very important. Don't worry, Snowbo. Debo and I will help you find your way home. I think Debo found something. Come on, Snowbo, let's go. Hmm, looks like there's no path. I guess we'll have to get down the fun way. Sledding! <laughs> very important, very important. Follow that bot! Very important, very important. Whoa, yeah! Let's try and get closer, Debo! Debo! Snowbo! Are you both okay? Very important, very important. What is it, Snowbo? Whoa! Yeah! Oh no! Snowbo! We gotta catch her! Come on, Debo! Very important. Very important. Snowbo! Debo! Oh no! Debo! Phew! Whoa, got you! You silly little bot! Whoa! Have you ever seen such a Christmassy house? Whoa! Snowbo, it's you! I was so worried about you! H hey, Santa! It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo! <laughs> oh, hello, Blippi and Debo! Thank you so much for helping me find my Snowbo. <laughs> she has a very important job to do tonight. <laughs> Very important. Snowbo helps power my new sleigh. Without Snowbo, I wouldn't be able to deliver presents to the children all over the world. Santa, I was wondering, how do you know where everyone lives? It's magic. Ho, ho, ho. Whoa. <laughs> I got the answer to my question. How does Santa know where we live? It's magic! <laughs> Upload answer, Debo. Would you like a ride? We'd love a ride! Buckle up, because here we go! Yeah! Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays! You're right, Debo. That Christmas tree doesn't have its lights on, and lights are one of my favorite parts about Christmas. Yeah, but do you know what the best part about Christmas is? Whoa! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Hi there. I'm Barry the Snowman. So, Blippi, do you know what the best part about Christmas is? I'm not sure. Hmm. I wonder, what is the best part about Christmas? Oh, you have a note. Ooh, ooh, look and see what it is. The note says, in order to find the true meaning of Christmas Day, you must all go on this adventure over that way. It's an adventure with clues that lead you to more clues. Let's follow the arrow this way. Oh no, this gate is locked. Hmm, maybe I can help. Way to go, Barry. Whoa, look, 
Those candy canes lead up the hill. Hey, look up there! There's a note on the last candy cane. Across the zip line, you must go to find your next clue. Ho, ho, ho! There's a line, but nothing to hold on to. How do we get across? Eh, uh, maybe we can try my nose again? I can help. Hi, I'm Candy. I know a zippy way to get across. Look, just hold on tight. Thanks, Candy. <laughs> oh, look! Wondering what next to do? Go through the forest to find your next clue. Ooh, there's a forest trail. This way. Hmm, which way should we go? I think it's this one. Oh, it's this one. I'm positive. Hi, hi, I'm Holly. And it's your lucky Holly day. I can show you the way out of the forest. Follow me. Thanks, Holly. <laughs> it is the same Christmas tree, Debo. Oh, look, there's a clue. For your Christmas to be all that. Look for a clue under a nearby hat. Is it your hat, Barry? Did you plan this entire Christmas scavenger hunt? Yeah, it was me. <laughs> I, I came up with this plan to bring everyone together uh, because that is the best part about Christmas. Oh, your final clue. In order for Christmas to truly be, you need to put an ornament on top of our town's Christmas tree. This is the Christmas tree, but how will we get the star on top? Hmm. <gasps> Wait, we can make a holiday friends ladder. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, you all look fantastic. And I have the answer to my question. One of the best parts about Christmas is spending the holiday with friends and family. Upload answer, Debo. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Happy holidays, everyone! You're right, Debo. The snow has blocked the Blippi Mobile. Hmm, I wonder, how are we gonna get out of here? Whoa! Oh, look! Oh, yeah! <laughs> I'm an excavator, a snowy excavator. Hey, Snow! I'll see you later, snowy excavator. I've got a great big arm Whoa. with a great big boom. If I start shoveling now, the road will be clear soon. I'm a frost devastator. I'm an actor.
excavator, a snowy excavator. Hey, snow! See you later, snowy excavator. A snowy excavator on an excavator. A snowy excavator. A snowy excavator. Hey, snow! See you later, snowy Look at them sliding on their bellies and waddling around. Wow, I think those penguins are flying. Wait a minute, those aren't penguins. You're right, Debo. I don't see any penguins flying. Hmm, I wonder, can penguins fly? I'm gonna need duck feet and flippers. Duck feet, flippers, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinky down! The Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure! Gangway! Huh? Whoa! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippy, and this is Debo. <laughs> we were wondering, can penguins fly? Hi, Blippy. I'm Pepper. I really want to fly. I just need to find the elusive Shimmer Stripe Iceberg. The Shimmer Stripe Iceberg? Yeah. It's the biggest iceberg around. Once I find it, I think I'll finally be able to fly. Come on, let's go. I prefer tobogganing over waddling. It's much faster. All right. Here we go. Whee! Ice slide detour. I'm going to catch some serious air. Watch this. Yay. Pepper? <laughs> Almost got it. We just need to find the Shimmer Stripe Iceberg. Then I really should be able to fly. Let's do it! <laughs> yeah! Whoa! Not this one. No Shimmer Stripes here. Whoa! Where could it be? It's the Shimmer Stripe Iceberg! Yeah! Woohoo! Here we go! Whoop. Whoa! Come on, Debo! Yeah! <laughs> All right. Are you ready to catch some serious air? We were born ready! Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> to my question. Penguins can't fly, but they're great swimmers. <laughs> they also have flippers instead of wings, which help them swim through the water. Upload answer, Debo. I'm gonna go catch some serious waves now. Bye, dudes. Bye, Pepper. Look at that snowflake. I agree, Debo. Snowflakes are beautiful. Hmm, I wonder, how is a snowflake made? You're right, Debo. We can go up into a cloud and find out. I'm going to need a grabber arm and wings. Grabber arm, wings, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippi-Mobile is ready for adventure! 
Let's go find out how a snowflake is made. We're way up high, and the air is very cold. Isn't it so chill? I mean, welcome to my cloud. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. It looks like you're working hard. You're right. I'm a small particle now, but soon I'll be a big snowflake. Can you pass me those big water vapor clouds? The water in the cloud freezes on me, and then I grow more crystals. One snowflake can contain as many as 100 ice crystals! All of those ice crystals sure made you strong, Mimi. Here! Yeah! Go catch, Debo! <laughs> Now that I'm heavy enough, I can fall towards the ground. Follow me! Yay! <laughs> Mimi, each time water vapor sticks to you and becomes ice crystals, you get even bigger and more impressive. Thanks! You have six points, same as every other snowflake, but your own one-of-a-kind design. Yep, no two snowflakes are alike. That means there's no one like me. That's why I'm called Mimi! A snowman! Perfect! I can land there with the rest of my squad! I did it! Stop the landing! Way to go, Mimi! <laughs> and I have the answer to my question. How is a snowflake made? It starts as a particle in the air and collects ice crystals as it gets colder and colder, eventually forming a unique snowflake. Upload answer, Debo. Bye bye, Mimi. Bye, Blippi. Gigantic truck! You're right, Debo. I think that was a monster truck. Hmm, I wonder, what makes a monster truck special? Good idea! We can catch up with that monster truck and find out. I'm gonna need monster truck wheels. Monster truck wheels confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Debo? Whoa, Debo! You have the monster truck wheels attachment? <laughs> You're like a monster truck! All right, let's ride! Debo the monster truck is ready for adventure! Crash! Crash! <laughs> It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. You really crushed that car. Hi, Blippi. I'm Megan. So, Megan, we're here to find out what makes a monster truck special. Cool. Well, I think the best way to answer your question is to show you what I do. Great. You see, I'm a monster truck with big, tall monster tires. I'm 13 feet tall. Wow. Let's go. Do this! All right! <laughs> huh? Huh? Crash! Whoa. Ah. Whoa. We can't bounce as high as you, Megan! And oh boy, we're almost tipping over! Well, I have heavy duty suspension, which are special springs, so I can bounce way up and down and not tumble over. <laughs> I use them when I race Whoa. and have competitions. Cool! Whoa! Whoa. Yeah! Welcome aboard, Flippy! Buckle up! It's time to dominate the obstacle course! Whoa! 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 Whoa. This is awesome! Whoa. How can you turn and zigzag so fast? I have something called four wheel steering so I can turn all four wheels at once, instead of just two wheels like a lot of regular trucks. Us monsters! 
monster trucks are built for short, high-powered bursts of speed! was amazing! And I have the answer to my question. What makes a monster truck special? Monster trucks are a special kind of truck with big tires, heavy duty suspension, and four wheel steering. Upload answer, Devo. Bye, Megan. It was so cool to ride with you. Bye, Blippi. Keep on crushing. <laughs> I see the moon. Stars, and is that a planet? Oh, it is, Tabs. Whoa, there's a whole area out there in space with the planets and the sun. It's called the solar system. Hmm, I wonder, what planets are in the solar system? Good idea, Tabs. Let's go into outer space. I'm gonna need a rocket booster. Rocket booster. Confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! Now it's time to get planet size! Growing up! <laughs> right, Taps, we're in space! Whoa, it's a meteor! Hey, it's me, Blippi! Welcome to Outer Space! I'm Mary the Meteor! I'm here to find out about all the planets in our solar system. There are eight planets in our solar system! Let's meet them, shall we? Closest to the blazing sun are the two smallest and hottest planets, Mercury and Venus! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. That is hot! We should go! The third planet is your home, Earth! Hi, Mom! Then there's Mars, the red planet. Mars is red because it's covered in rusty soil. <laughs> That's a lot of dust! Come on! Next up is the giant Jupiter, bigger than all the planets combined. He doesn't scare me, though. Whoa! We should go! We sure are a long way from the sun now. Welcome to Saturn and her rings. Whoa, they look beautiful. Can we get closer? Of course. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 yeah, wee. Wait, we haven't finished yet. On your left is Uranus, billions of miles from the sun, pretty cold. Now let's hear it for the furthest, windiest, and coldest planet, Neptune! Whoopee. Whoa! I have the answer to my question. What planets are in our solar system? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune! Upload answer tabs. Thanks for the tour, Mary. That was wild. See ya, Blippi. Time for a shower. A meteor shower! Bye, Mary the Meteor. Wow, I love our cool Blippi mobile. You're right, Debo. Our car does have amazing things. Hmm. I wonder, what were the first cars like? Good idea! We can go way back in time to see one of the first cars. I'm gonna need helicopter blades. Helicopter blades confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Going back in time! Mobile is ready for adventure. We just traveled back over 100 years. I wonder whose house this is. It's mine. Huh? My name is Blippi. Yours? Hey, it's me, Blippi. Wait, are you my great grandpa? I think I am. Come here, future Blippi great grandson. <laughs> 
Grandpa, we're here to find out what the first cars were like. Good timing! I'm about to take my first ever automobile for a drive! Hot dog, isn't this a beaut? Really cool! So, how does it start? This crank will make sparks that help start the engine! The engine started! Yeah! It looks like your car can only fit two people. And no seatbelts? Hmm. Seatbelts keep you safe. Hot dog. Seat belts? Okay, let's go. To the top of that hill. my question. What were the first cars like? You had to turn a crank to start it. Cars only had two seats. And you pulled a hand lever for the brakes. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, great grandpa Blippi. Happy and safe driving. Huh? <gasps> Achoo! Huh, something is making me sneeze. Hmm, I wonder, why do people sneeze? <laughs> yes, it's time to find the nearest nose and see what happens in there. I'm gonna need rocket boosters, a grabber arm, and spider legs. Rocket booster, grabber arm, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station! Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Woohoo! Into a nose we go! It's like a cave in here! Hello! Hello! Hey, it's me, Blippi. Who are you? My name's Petunia, and I'm a piece of pollen. I may be small, but I can make big things happen! <laughs> Like a sneeze? You got it! When I'm around people, I bother them! <laughs> and I especially like bothering noses! Come on, that's with me! Oh, don't worry, it's a nose, it's not gonna bite! Plus, it's fun! <laughs> so, this will make someone sneeze? This is just the start! Since a sniff is coming! Watch out! That wasn't that bad! <laughs> it looks like we're in a jungle. This is all hair! It's here to keep pollen like me, plus other things like dust particles, out of your nose! Oh, <laughs> well, it won't work! Oh, it's fun to be irritating! Will this cause a sneeze? <laughs> I hope so! Ooh, now a tissue's coming for us! <laughs> Take all more! Is the sneeze coming? It is! <laughs> na 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 na! Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh no! Boogers! We did it! Yes! And I have the answer to my question. Why do people sneeze? People sneeze when tiny things like pollen get inside their nose and irritate it. Upload answer, Debo. Okay, see ya, Blippi! Bye-bye, Petunia.
Mmm, what's better than a delicious piece of fruit? You're right, Debo. Vegetables are yummy too. Hmm, I wonder, what's the difference between fruits and vegetables? Super suggestion. We'll go into that garden to figure it out. I'm gonna need wings and a grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirmed. Okie dokie, artichokey. Activate Blippy Station. Shrinking down! The Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure. All right, we're in a community garden where all kinds of fruits and vegetables grow. And look, there's one right now. Step right up. You're the next contestants on Slip Cucumber Certified Fresh Game Show. Fruit or Vegetable. Tell us your names. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> Now, Blippi and Debo, a quick review before we start. All fruits have a pit or seeds in them and grow on a plant with flowers. Fruits have pits or seeds and always flowers. Got it. And vegetables are different. There are root and leaves. Got that too. Excellent. Let's play. Tell me, Blippi, is this carrot a fruit? Oh. Ooh, the carrot is a vegetable because it's a root and has leaves. That's right! But can Blippi go two for two? So tell me, is this tomato a fruit or a vegetable? Hmm, this is tough. Okay, a tomato grows from a plant, but it has seeds. It's also a vegetable? Oh, sorry. Tomato is a fruit. Now, your final question, Blippi. Can you tell me if this strawberry is a fruit or vegetable? Strawberry is a, a fruit. Yes, strawberry is a fruit. And you get two correct answers, which means this trophy is all yours. Wow. Thanks, Mr. Slim. And I also have the answer to my question. What's the difference between fruits and vegetables? Vegetables are roots and leaves, and fruits have flowers in a pit or seeds. Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, <laughs> Mr. Slim. Congrats to you, Blippi. That's our game. I'm Slim the Cucumber, and by the way, I'm a fruit. Tune in next time for our special guest, Madam Mango, on Fruit of Vegetables. What a nice day for a quiet drive. Whoa! Attack of the Bubbles! <laughs> That's right, Debo. Bubbles pop when you touch them. Hmm, I wonder, how do you make bubbles? Great idea! We'll follow the bubbles to find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Ready for adventure! The bubbles are from the car wash! Let's give it a wash! Hi! Oh, good boy! I'm Marvin, Marvin Bubbly! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn how to... Wait a second. Are you a pop star? Oh. <laughs> sure am. My mom loves you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're far too kind. So, what are you here to learn? Better better turn. Debo and I are here to learn how bubbles are made. So glad you asked. The surfaces of bubbles are soft. 
<gasps> Ooh, which makes them pop easily. That reminds me, we need more bubbles. And I know just the fella to show you how. Hmm, can you guess? It's me, Marvin Bubbly. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Whoopsies. The first step is to get water. Then we need some soap to mix with it. And shoo ba doo poop Voila! You make bubbles! And look how they float! Us bubbles can float like that because we're just air that's trapped inside a thin layer of soapy water! Whoa! So bubbles are made by blowing air into soap! That's right! Which reminds me... Let's make some more bubbles! And I know just a fella to show you how! It's you! It is me! Just dip your hands in the water Get them sized up on the soap Make a circle with your hands and blow! Whoa! It's bigger than you! Check this out! Catch me if you can! I've got new heights to reach! Keep flying high, Marvin! And thanks for helping me get the answer to my question. How are bubbles made? They're made when air gets trapped inside a thin layer of soapy water! Upload answer, Devo! Bye-bye, Marvin! Bye-bye, Blippi! Bye-bye, everyone! What's making that sound? Oh, it's a race car! It's going so fast! You're right! The Blippi-mobile could never go that fast. Hmm, I wonder, why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? Good idea, Debo! We can go to the racetrack and find out! I'm gonna need race car tires! Race car tires confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! me, Blippi, and this is Devo. We're actually here to find out why race cars are so much faster than regular cars. Hi, I'm Ricardo. Let me show you on the track. Let's race. All right. Before we race, I have a really important job for you, Devo. I need you to be the captain of the pit stop. During the race, I'll pull in here so you can keep me in tip-top shape. Can you help out and do that job? <laughs> oh, nice try, Debo. But what you'll be doing is gassing up my tank and swapping out my tires. Okay, race time! Helmets on and buckle up! I'm going really fast! Whoa! I'm not even going as fast as I can! Only 180 miles per hour now! Race cars are made out of a lighter material than regular cars, plus my shape helps me race easier into the wind. It's called aerodynamics. You and my Blippi Mobile are definitely different shapes. Pit stop, Captain! Do your thing! You can do it, Debo! Ricardo, do you have special tires? I do! My tires are wider and softer than regular car tires, so I can go even faster on this super hot track! Thanks, Debo! Now you're even faster! My powerful engine is five times stronger than a regular car's. I can reach my top speed of 220 miles per hour. See you at the finish line, Blippi! Whoa! I'm blown away! 
Hey! But now I have the answer to my question. Why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? It's because race cars are aerodynamic and made out of a lighter material, have special tires to race on the hot track, and a super powerful race car engine! Huh? Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, <laughs> Ricardo! Bye, Blippi! Bye, Debo! Ciao! Whoa! Ah, uh, more junk! Oh, oh, look! A shark's tooth! Whoa, Debo, there sure are a lot! Hmm, I wonder, how many teeth does a shark have? Great idea, Debo! We can go into the ocean and find out! I'm gonna need duck feet, a grabber arm, and a propeller! Duck feet, grabber arm, propeller, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Oh, hi there! I'm Dr. Paula the Pilot Fish. I'm a shark dentist. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> We're here to learn how many teeth a shark has. Well, you swam into the right corner of the ocean. I'm about to visit my friend and patient, Larry. Hello, I think I have a loose tooth. We'll find out. We pilot fish help keep the shark's mouth clean in exchange for protection from fish who might chase us. Wow, what a great friendship. Whoop. Whoa! Someone call the Tooth Fairy! Let's take a look. Open wide, Larry. <laughs> ah, nothing to worry about. Come on in. The water's fine. As you can see, there's not just one row of teeth. There's row after row after row. <laughs> Go ahead and close now, buddy. Uh, maybe keep your mouth open just a little bit, Larry. Whoa! Another tooth on the loose! That's why Larry's got all these rows of teeth. They're waiting in line for when the front teeth fall out whoop, and need to be replaced. Happens all the time. That's kind of like us humans when we're kids. Let's count. One, two, three, 56, 57, 58. I sure wish sharks could floss. 213! Oh, that sure is a lot of teeth to take care of. You're right. There can be as many as 300 teeth in a shark's mouth at any given time. And get this, through his whole life, Larry here can grow and lose as many as 50,000 teeth. That's a huge number. <laughs> All done, Larry. Woohoo! Choo! And I got the answer to my question. How many teeth does a shark have? Sharks have several rows of teeth, can have as many as 300 teeth at one time, and 50,000 over the course of their lives. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for teaching us all about teeth, Dr. Paula. Bye, Blippi. Don't forget the boss. <laughs> That's right, Debo. The leaves have almost fallen off the trees. That means winter is coming. Whoa, that is a big bear. It looks like it's ready to hibernate. That's when bears slow down in the winter and rest. Kind of like a bunch of long naps. <laughs> hmm, I wonder, how do bears prepare for hibernation? I'm gonna need the excavator arm. Excavator arm confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! Nice hula hoop moves you got there. I'm Bella the Bear. 
Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> We're wondering how bears prepare for hibernation. <gasps> is it that time already? It's almost winter. Oh, no. I've been having so much fun this summer, I totally forgot to prepare. I'm gonna have to move fast. Hey, could you help me? Of course. Thanks, Blippi. I've got quite the checklist. I'm gonna have to eat a lot of healthy food and fast. <laughs> so I can bulk up my fat and fur to keep me warm. Fish is one of my favorite foods. Whoa! Voila! Oh, right. <laughs> Eating. Thanks, Blippi. I'll also need to load up on berries. Bella! Don't you need to eat the berries? Whoopsie doo! Oh. Mm. Thanks, Debo. All right, we're making progress. But now for the tough part. We need to dig in the ground to find roots to eat. <laughs> I know just the thing to speed up the process. Work, Blippi. <laughs> well, excuse me. Mmm, mmm, delish. Oh, I just need one more thing to keep me warm. What is it? I need an extra layer to keep warm in my cave. Pine needles. The bare version of a big comfy blanket. Oh, thanks. That looks extra cozy. <sighs> I'm all ready for hibernation. And I couldn't have done it all in one day without your help. I think we made it just in time. Thanks for answering my question, Bella. Bears prepare for hibernation by eating a lot of healthy food and warming their dens in order to stay comfy in the winter months. <laughs> Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Have a great sleep, Bella. Bye, Blippi. Oh, take care of my hula hoop till summer, Debo. Whoa, look at that. It's amazing how big dinosaurs were. You're right, Debo. There were bigger dinosaurs than the T-Rex. Hmm. I wonder, what was the biggest dinosaur? Good idea, Debo. We can go back in time and find the biggest dinosaur. I'm gonna need wings and extendo legs. Wings, extendo legs, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Going back in time! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Okay, where is the biggest dinosaur? Whoa! The rock is moving! Oh! We aren't sitting on a rock. We're on a very big dinosaur's back. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Hi, Blippi and Debo. I'm Angie. The Argentinosaurus. Whoa! That is a big name for a big dino. I have to break it up to say it right. Argentinosaurus. That's me. So, I'm on my way to meet a friend. Oh, do oh, you want to come along? Thanks for inviting us. Do you want to race? I bet you can run super fast. Actually, I walk slowly. That's part of being so big. Plus, I need to snack to keep up my energy. I eat hundreds of pounds of plants every day. You want to get a selfie of you and all of Angie? Good luck, Debo. Wow, you're really long. I'm about 130 feet long and 40 feet tall. That's as long as three school buses and a little taller than a telephone pole. Yum. Up 
the hill we go. I'll be your bridge. Whoa. It tickles. <laughs> yeah. This is where I meet my friend. Hey, good shot, Devo. We're both in it. Oh, and look, so is my friend. Sorry, I'm late. Hey, this is my good friend, Nina. Nina, this is Bleepy and Debo. <laughs> They're looking for the biggest dinosaur. That's an easy one. You're the biggest dinosaur around, Angie. Oh, I guess I am. <laughs> so cool. And I have the answer to my question. What was the biggest dinosaur? One of the biggest dinosaurs was the Argentinosaurus. It was 130 feet long and ate plants and leaves all day. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, Angie and Nina. Bye, Blippi. Bye, Blippi. Look at all the blinking fireflies! One, two, three! One, two, three! Oh, I love counting! Don't you, Debo? <laughs> hey, get back here, you silly! What you got there, Debo? Hmm, I wonder, why do fireflies light up? I'm gonna need wings! Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Look at all those different flashing patterns. Maybe it's a counting game. One, two, three. One, two, three. Whoa! <laughs> Whoops. Huh? Hey, it's me, Blippi. I was wondering, why do fireflies light up? Hey, I'm Felicia. And if there's one thing you gotta know about us fireflies, it's that we are all about that blink. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> You again? <laughs> Just try and catch me this time. Debo! <laughs> I like your style, Debo. <laughs> I've never seen moves like that. One, two, three. One, two, three. When fireflies blink, it's because they like another firefly style. And with style like that, I just can't stop. Everybody, stop! Oh, no! Not today, froggy boy! Felicia saves the day. <sighs> Works every time. Fireflies also light up when there is danger around. Oh, like a warning signal to predators to stay away? Yep. Nope, not my style. Not bad, but nah. Hey, Blippi, will you help me find a firefly with a blinking style like mine? You mean like a counting game? Yeah! Do you remember my flash pattern? One, two, three. One, two, three. That's it! We found your match! Now that's my style. What a great adventure! And I got the answer to my question. Why do fireflies light up? Fireflies light up to warn predators to stay away and to help them find other fireflies with the same blinking style. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for your help, Blippi! Bye, Felicia! One, two, three. One, two, three. The rain will be gone soon, Taps. Great! Since I just finished my fun painting. Can you guess what it is? Wow, Tabs, exactly right. It is a penguin holding a cup of tea while rollerblading through a jungle. So many colors. <gasps> Whoa, a rainbow. So many colors. 
I wonder, how does a rainbow get its colors? Great idea, Tabs. We can fly up and ask the rainbow and find out. But first, I'm gonna need wings. Wing confirmed. Let's go explore. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out how a rainbow gets its colors. Guys and gals, attention please. The big blue sky is proud to present nature's greatest influencer. I'm Bowie the Rainbow. Whoa, hey, it's me, Blippy. I'm a big fan, Bowie. I know all your colors. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm very proud of my colors. <laughs> Let me show them off one by one. I don't. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Wonderful job, Lippy. You know, today's a big day. We're doing a double rainbow showstopper. Oh, you must be part of my performance. Really? I'd be honored, but um, I don't know how you get all your colors. Could you show me? Of course, super fan Blippi. First, let's check out this puffy cloud called a cumulus cloud. Ooh, it looks like it just rained too, which is perfect. That means there are lots of water droplets in the air. Wow, this cloud has so many teeny drops of water. Hashtag true. Okay, next step, position the cloud so the sunlight shines true to water droplets, like this. Now, when the light goes true to water, it bends or refracts and separates the light into all the colors of the rainbow. Voila. That is awesome. I think I have the answer to my question. How does a rainbow get all its different colors? It's when... The sunlight shines through water. It bends the light and separates the light into all the colors of the rainbow. Upload answer tabs. A five, six, seven, eight. Wow! Don't forget to like and subscribe. How you doing? All right, see you later, Flippy. I love being at the beach. Whoa! A flying fish! Hmm, I wonder, what's underneath the ocean? Good idea, Tabs. We can go into the ocean and find out. I'll need duck feet and a propeller. Duck feet, propeller, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Wow, it's a whole other world down here. Is this like some kind of underwater forest? Exactly, it is a forest. Welcome to my neighborhood. My name's Jerry, Jerry the Jellyfish. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're down here to see what's in the ocean. Oh yeah, there's a lot. The ocean's full of surprises. I'll show you. I'm going to meet my friends. Well, I'll give you a tour along the way. All right. Thanks, Jerry. First stop, our kelp forest. This kelp can grow up to 150 feet. Wow, that's so tall. Oh yeah, but sometimes the water current around here blows the kelp around. Kelp, kelp. Oh no, this never happens. Great idea, Tabs. Let's use the turbo boosters. Oh good, glad you're okay. Let's move on. Whoa, that fish is blue and has a long nose. She's a blue marlin. She uses her nose to find and catch food. She's also really fast. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no, this never happens. Yeah, Tabs, it is dark in here. Wherever we are. Jerry! Jerry? Blippi, is that you in there? Oh no, hold on. Whoa! 
I scared a gray whale? And she blew you right out of her blowhole? That never happens. Thanks for getting us out of there, Jerry. Oh, you're all lit up. I told you the ocean was full of surprises, didn't I? Hey, look, it's your friends. Hiya, pals. You guys found me. And I found the answer to my question. What's underneath the ocean? There's a kelp forest, blue marlins, huge whales, and a jellyfish that lights up. Upload answer tabs. And we're only on chapter one. In chapter two, there's an octopus, and a shark, and a sea turtle, and a tuna. Bye, Jerry. Oh, and there's an otter, and a seahorse, and a lobster, and a stingray. 